And so just moving on to something you mentioned previously about our current instrumentation limitations that we're facing. The sample that we conduct a test on is inherently different from the sample that we analyze through a microscope, um, either post-mortem or just a different sample altogether, maybe slight differences in that, that microstructure. So that means that we can't do structure characterization and property measurement in situ um, or during the process of that sample testing, at least not yet. So in your opinion, if we were able to develop instrumentation to accomplish this, how would that benefit the material science field? Can you elaborate on that? Yes, we are getting to that stage where at least in some scenarios, we are able to do that. You know, like the example that I gave you about this nickel reacting with iron to do this chemistry. And I do a lot of this chemistry type of work even in my lab. And I have to rely on doing the experiment and then taking that material, putting it in whatever instruments we have available for determining the structure. The instrument will show diffraction peaks or x-ray or whatever, or if I can go to the scanning microscope and see there is some degree of mixing between the components and I'll say, hooray, I got some <laughs> chemistry here. But how did that chemistry take place? What was the driving force? Did the nickel diffuse? Did the iron diffuse? I have no clue in terms of what is the science that is happening that's leading to that chemistry. Now, why is that important? Well, if I don't know the science, I will not be able to design the process to yield the product that I want. I will have to just rely on trial and error. I will have to do multiple experiments and say, okay, if I do the experiment like this, this is what will happen. But imagine if I could put the cannon inside the transmission electron microscope, nobody will let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> or the other way around. Or bottom line is, if I bring my stimuli, it doesn't matter whatever the stimuli is. The stimulus can be heat. The stimulus can be electrical field. The stimulus can be chemical environment. The stimulus can be a pressure pulse that is generated by a laser beam. Those are possible. I can bring those stimuli inside the microscope. And with my eyes, I can see as the stimuli is applied to the metal, how are the atoms responding to it? And if I can see that, I can see the atom motion. Is it the iron atoms moving, the nickel atoms moving? You know, are the barriers being created? What is driving that phenomena? Then I get a clear understanding. I get the exact science of what is happening. Then I can tune it to make the material I want. Or if I'm interested in the failure of the material, you know, I can see where did the crack initiate? And that's what one of our faculty members, Josh Catcher, that's what he's doing. He has the ability to pull a thin strip or wire of a metal inside the electron microscope and see how are the atoms stretching until you get the onset of failure. So if I know that, now if needed, I can prevent that by utilizing some tricks, the scientific, uh, the alchemy or whatever I want to use. Or if I want to take advantage of that, then I can say, okay, what do I need to do to accelerate that process? We have also faculty that are looking at the electrical environment, the chemical environment. If you're talking about batteries, the degradation of batteries. So if I have a material through which I'm sending an electric current, while the material is in some kind of an electrolytic environment, I want to make sure that while there is a flow of current happening and there is a you know, chemical environment, is there any type of degradation going on? So if I know it at that scale, I can decide what to do to prevent it before I actually make the battery and then battery is used in a certain application. And then we find out that there was a fire in an airplane, you know, and it came from the battery that was part of, you know, your computer or whatever the device was. <music>